Hello everyone, welcome back to Getting Started HTML Coin version 2. Today we're going to talk about sending and receiving HTML coin. If you've been following the series, you've uh, set up your wallet, you've even tried to generate a block or two, and now it's time we send and receive. My name is Zach Smith, I'm the Executive Vice President of Educational Technology for the HTML Coin Foundation, and uh, I want to remind you, htmlcoin.com is the official HTML coin headquarters. And uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you have comments, please leave them below. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is open our wallet. Alrighty. So I've opened the wallet, and uh, we're going to send and receive. So what I've done is I've come here, I've went to receiving address, and I have got this address right here. Now I'm going to send to it. Now what I've done is I have another wallet, and I'm going to copy and paste that into the wallet, and then we're going to do this as a uh, together as an experiment or as a practice, but I wanted to show you what it looks like when coins come in. All right, I'm going to send 2,000 HTML coin. I've hit send right now. All righty, yes, I'm willing to pay the fee. And boom, you see how fast it comes in. HTML is lightning fast. The HTML coin framework is fast. All right, as you can see, quick. That's the point I want to make fast. So I just uh, sent myself a 2000 HTML coin. You can look under recent uh, transactions. We have the circle with the arrow coming in. That means it's coming in. This is the name and of the wallet that I've assigned it getting started. Now notice it just now showed up as 2000 coins. For a moment there, we were pending 2,000, but it was not available. That is because of the block. We needed to reach a confirmation. So if we look here, we can see, there we go, that we're not staking still. We are connected to eight connections now. Excellent. And we're up to date. Let's get over here and look at transactions. All right. So if we double click on it, we'll look at the status. So it has been confirmed only one or on one block and it is unconfirmed. Now what does that mean? It, that means it has not yet made it on enough of the blockchain to be confirmed. It's not been um, block upon block upon block. This tells us how many blocks that it is on. Currently only one. Now here's the transaction ID, here's what was sent, this is what happened, uh, this is to here, this is our label, and from is unknown, part of the, the secure kind of uh, um, designation. Alright, so let's close that for a second. Notice the time, we, it's received, and we also have this pie shape thing over here. Now, it says confirming three of 10 recommended confirmations. So in this case, it has been confirmed three times. Once it hits 10, that's the recommended allow time or the, uh, the number of blocks that have been confirmed, then it's generally considered to be confirmed. All right, so let's come back over here. We can look at, oops, we want to come here. So when we look at our receiving addresses, notice we have the two. You can create new ones. You can also copy there and you can export that information. All right, so let's continue looking at this block. We'll double click it again. Notice now it has six confirmations. It no longer says unconfirmed. It is now confirmed, although the recommended practice is to allow for 10 just to ensure no problems. 
So we can look here. Notice the pie shape is slowly filling in. And here in a moment, it will fill in even further. All right, it's almost circular. We can look at it one more time there. If we highlight over it. 7 of 10. What I'm going to do is pause this video, allow it to get past 10, and then we're going to work with it just a little further. All right, we're back. Notice that the clock is now solid, minus the little uh, 3 o'clock looking hands there. And when we hover over it, 9 out of 10 confirmations. We're getting close right there. We can double click it and again see 9 confirmations. Let's go back to our overview. So how do we send a coin? A, one, or a bunch? Well, let's look at that. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to come up here and say receiving address. I'm going to make a new address, and it's called receiving oops, um, getting started. Okay. Now, I'm going to copy this. I can do that by hitting the copy button here. And I'll close this. Now let's go to send. Now if I say sending address, notice I can put someone in here. So I can go ahead and put this in here. I could say, well, where you, uh, this is the receiving uh, getting started. And I can put that address right here. And it says, oh, this is already in your book, so I don't have to worry about that. Now, if I wanted to send, I could say, well, I want to pay to. And we have options right here. We have this pays to an address from clipboard, for instance. We also have this kind of address book that is related to this particular uh, new this address that we could have added all right here uh, notice it automatically received the name as well and let's put the amount let's say 55 HTML now you can also add a recipient you can send or you can clear so what happens when I send it's going to say are you sure you want to send here's the fee and I'm going to say yes boom notice that I've sent a payment to myself in this case but there is the transaction fee and once again we can come over here and look and say huh wow all right here's the transaction fee that came out and really all I did was pay a transaction fee all right it's in the memory pool and that is the extent but the process is exactly the same. If you put in the wallet here. You put in the label if you want one or if you already have one added. And you put in the amount. You can put in the description and you send it. That's it. It's quite simple and it will show up here. I'm going to go ahead and send another transaction over here. Once again, I'll walk you through how the time so you can see how quickly hold on all right I filled out the pay to that's this particular wallet address right here okay the practice for getting started um, oh no it's the getting started sorry ends in CCO now we're going to go ahead to our overview and I'm going to hit send now I will confirm yes and boom, it's on its way. There it is. I just sent 110. Once again, we can see it on the overview, the recent transactions. And under the transactions showing up here, notice 110. Notice the question mark. It's unconfirmed. It hasn't even made it yet. That's why it's not showing up here. It's just pending. In a moment, it will then add the 110 to our available. So we'll have this amount. 
once it shows a confirmation. Currently, zero, it's in the memory pool. Notice the change, we received the clock. Now if I go back, there's one, it's unconfirmed. However, it has been added. The recommended 10 confirmations, one of 10. And when we look at the overview, now we can see that it has been added. Notice this back and forth. That says I sent something and received it, but really all that happens was I paid the fee. All right, looks good. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this feed in order to stay current with all the new videos as they come out. And once again, happy mining.